next time you see Bob, tell him to lighten up. Are you looking to start something? Never do a job unprepared. You need to So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. All right, let's see what you need.
Well, time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride, or you're not getting near Dombrowski. Oh no, 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 no. Delgado isn't gonna drop a cred stick on the table and be done with it. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so They'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. The 
between you and me. The best part of my job is getting Your Starview Pass handy at all times. Here, that view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? <coughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. It's for the Society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. Nice to have met you. So what brings I you aboard? Bar with him. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. I heard it's fitted with 12 internally flawless two-carat blue diamonds. Can you believe that? That's all then? Okay. Quite a lovely Starliner. I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? That award is such a joke. It's for members of the society to pat their own backs for spending the most money on the cause. Enjoy the rest of the event. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people, if he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Hello, are you a member of the society? The society chair is really Yes, out. I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. If you have any specific requests, please... Let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Security situation. 
situation, I need to get back to my duties. Have you tried Must you continue be? these unwelcome or interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? No, I can't. Sorry. You're just annoying enough that this might work. Yeah, I hope so. I wish I could, but if anybody found out I told you... Oh, this is utterly preposterous. I'm not giving you anything. I should say so. <laughs> the nerve of you to even ask something so stupid. Having fun at our little gala? As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Like the ship's purser probably told you, it's because the system is completely automated. The only way you're gonna get the award is by using Sheila's claim ID. But she's not going to just hand it over. Here, give her this. I'm certain it'll help. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Get back to it. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Oh my goodness. How did you know about that? There's no need to make a scene. If you're here to steal the award, there's nothing I can really do about that, is there? Here. Take it. I've done this particular cruise run. Yeah, uh, can we do this later? I'm busy. Quite the a society lovely chair story has and really outdone herself this time. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Well, that was boring. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Pleased to make your acquaintance. That view is... He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. 
quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Don't forget to donate to the cause. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging is for every credit. Sorry, do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. His wife? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No! He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Mm, Gal Bank doesn't have an undercover division. Can we stop playing games and get down to serious business here? What the hell? Dombrowski has us mixed up with the Crimson Fleet? If you had another way to get the information, you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding. You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. for business or pleasure quite an event they're throwing today don't you think hello you here for the charity event Dombrowski uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom yeah sorry I work for UC security not Galbank I don't really know him personally Claudia sent you did she 
Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? So, what brings you aboard? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls, and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him... I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Go do something useful, okay? Tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exceptions. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm so bored down here. I've been counting the deck plates just to take up some time. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Remember not to touch anything, please.
passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. I always took him for a fool, but I can't believe he's stupid enough to have gotten mixed up with the Crimson Fleet. Still, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over any evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And the Brusque is going to walk away with a fortune. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't want to end up on the Crimson Fleet shit list. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I'll end up in jail. This is a lose-lose situation for me. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. You better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire All something may personal. May I have your attention, from me. please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. 
Please report to your You may as well ask, is it necessary for the sun to set on Jemison or for one to wear a pressure suit when entering the vacuum of space? I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of equity in our discussion. However, I will acquiesce to your addendum. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course, I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. All passengers. May I have your attention, please? The siren of the storm. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Well, looks like everything looked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched into hell. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit short in that department myself. Perhaps I can pay you back later in some other way. Just look for me on the uh, key, and I'll see what I can do. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions.
Not here on business. Just... Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr... Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Shh. They'll hear us. Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives, and then they're gonna jump you. I'm supposed to let you in, and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just... be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there.
Every captain here's earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Com Spike. We grabbed that little beauty. And we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comp spike with Jazz. And I'll point us in the right direction. Best we can. What are you, five? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Balked grog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. Give me an Erdebrow logger and I'm good. A lot of us in the fleet came out of the mud. We call UC Sistef sharks, but to the fleet, they are just bait. If you want to stay under the radar, I've got just the thing. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. 
You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Oh, really? Well, that's news to me, Rook. But if you two have a working relationship, all the better. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. You'd better, for your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure? More like, get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here, and don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo, babe. Stay sharp, Rook. 